Hello, everyone. My name is Yue Yang, and I'm a PhD candidate at Zhejiang University of China. I'm delighted to present our work published in Kai 2024. The name is Snap Inflatables: Designing Inflatables with Snap Through Instability for Responsive Interaction. Snap Through Instability is common in nature. It describes structures that quickly snap from one stable position to another. For example, the Linus flytrap has a cool way to quickly close its leaf to trap the prey. This rapid and reversible shape changing is a small strategy for achieving self-sensing and actuation. Snap through instabilities have attracted attention and application in many fields. In human computer interaction, researchers use them to design pop up deformable products, provide haptic feedback, and achieve mechanical logical control. In robotics, it is used in automatically grasping controls without electronics and the rapid shape reconfigure to adapt to different environments. Most structures with snap through instability are created through mechanical assembly, 3D printing, origami folding, or casting elastomers. However, these methods often have limitations in terms of efficiency, accessibility, scalability, and the flexibility of trigger force. Our work provides a new option. We use inflatable structure that can be quickly inflated from a flat state to a 3D form. They are easy to store and transport. We can customize their force feedback by adjusting air pressure. They are also safe and can prevent collision damage. Our work also expands the field of inflatable shape changing interface. Most existing research relies in connecting air pumps to change the shapes. Our work can achieve rapid switch between different stable states and various responsive interactions without the need of constant connection to an air pump. This may broaden the user scenarios. So why do inflatables have snap through instability? It is because of the non-stretchable material and uneven stiffness caused by the heel seated patterns. When an airbag inflates, the material's constraint causes the outer edge to compress and fold inward. The difference of stiffness inside leads to the airbag bending in the weak area and with two upside direction options. By changing the layout of heat sealing patterns, we can get six types of structures. Each of them has different reaction behaviors. Two points on the pattern correspond to a planar bend. Four points corresponding to a vertical bend. And five points will achieve a twist. They are all bidirectional. Moreover, we offer three indirect control modules that allow the input force and the reaction in different directions. Based on this motion type, we open a new design space for creating responsive interaction with inflated objects. We explore other design dimensions and form factors. The motion range of each structure can be controlled by their critical geometry parameter of heat sealing patterns. The performance of the same structure can be adjusted by internal pressure. Higher internal pressure will increase the stiffness, result in a higher trigger force and a faster responsive speed. We also explored the scalability of structure from the size of a fingersnail to the human body and we observe similar motion effect. If we add a block structure to the side of the airbag and block it in the middle of its two stable states, we can create an ultra-sensitive state where even a tiny force may trigger it to switch states. We develop a software design tool to help users customize interactive inflatable structures with multi-stable properties this tool allows users to import an outline, choose the type, and set the location of the bistable joint according to our guideline. They can adjust and preview the effect of bistable switching and inflation. 
our software tool also supports designing multiple joints to achieve more complex motion and control. Finally, users can obtain the heat sealing pattern for fabrication. They can use the heat heat model of a 3D printer to create inflated structure with desired shape and movement. Based on our methods, we can apply the snap through instability of inflatables to many scenarios. For example, by leveraging shape reconstruction, we can create game controllers and a series of interactive toys with multiple joints. The single and the elephant. We can also create deformable lighting with a large and a tunable lighting range. And it is also lightweight and easy to store. Inflatables with snap through instability can also provide haptic feedback. We create a wearable button with bounce back feedback that enable the elderly and sick to call for help during emergencies. With self-sensing and responding, we can create shoes that do not require shoes lace because they can close the ankle automatically when the user step in. We can also create a responsive self-locking stretcher that automatically secures the patient once he is pulled down. Our work do have some limits and worth to do in the future. The trigger first of inflatables are relatively small. Precise prediction of complex structure has not yet to be achieved, but maybe finite element analysis can help achieve it in the future. As the picture shows, the type and the position of joints may be reconfigurable. Finally, we're looking forward to further application scenario, such as the rapid deployment of Mars habitats and the rapid switching of antenna in aerospace. We hope that our projects providing a new option for responsive interaction and shape-changing construction. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for all your attention and thanks to all my collaborators.